Hi guys, this is Dawn with DEK Designs and uh, today in this video we are going to be setting up my Hobonichi cousin Evac for the month of February. If that's something you'd be interested in watching, please stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to set up the month of February and I'm going to use the subscription box um, for February. I have pulled out my washies for the box. Um, I just have some tools in this. I pulled the, some of the papers that I have left over. Uh, the sticky notes, some of the... Uh, foil stickers, die cuts, the monthly overview, and then what I have left of the kit. So let's start with the month. Hope everybody is doing great today and staying warm and uh, safe. I know there's a big winter storm that is going on right now. So I'm just gonna put this on the sidebar. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna put my washi down first. I'm just more comfortable doing it that way to make sure my spacing's right. Um, yeah, see, I would have messed that up. Oh, I don't, you know what? I don't think I grabbed the hobo kit. I think this is the, is this the hobo kit? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So it's just a little bit of sticker paper on there from when I pulled it up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I was having one of those green moments there. Let's put the date covers down. You know, the one thing that's kind of um, always bothered me a little bit is the red and the gray um, showing up on the spread. I mean, I don't mind it so much for the weekends, but when it's the um, Japanese holidays that, you know, aren't our holidays, it does kind of bother me. So I saw someone put washi down um, to cover that. And I think I'm gonna try that today. So, let's try that. I just don't know how that's gonna look with my uh, date dots or scallops, whatever you wanna call them. But we will see. Okay, that's where the pattern repeats, so I'm just going to adjust it. I'm going to adjust it again for the pattern. Okay. 
Okay, we shall she shall shall see if I like that. Um, last month I didn't use that, so we'll see. Um, <clears throat> I am going to start putting the um, date dots down and I'm hoping that I can go in and edit it and um, fast forward it for you. Okay, so we have the date dots down and I'm just gonna um, fill in the boxes that aren't in the month with the deco squares here. Let's see. No rhyme or reason, I'm just kind of putting down what I think looks good next to each other. a full framed box here for some notes. So I do have an extra deco frame or box left over. And yeah, so important dates. Um, the box will ship out on around the 21st. I forgot these scallops hang over a little. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this corner peels up a little bit. And it does. Okay. And the ninth for sure, we're gonna have hump day happy meal. We haven't had one for a while, so um, we're still catching up from being sick, but for sure on the 9th. Um, we do have new releases on the 7th. You know what? I want to use... I'm going to put this little center at that right above that box while I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm going to use a little corner. And another, because I know for sure these two days we'll have new releases. We usually do it every week, but we seriously are trying to play catch up here, so we it might be kind of staggered a little bit until we're totally caught up. Um, let's do the mystery kits. Should ship around this day. And mark another hump day for that week. Oh, I wish I would have used that, but that's okay. I'm just going to use this. Um, and when are... So, um, this is what I have left on the sheet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use any more of those, but I'm going to mark down the paydays. 
yeah, you know, I'm actually going to use a corner piece on my paydays. These little heart corners are so adorable. I love them. Okay. So these are the um, clear overlay stickers that came with the monthly kit. Okay, I'm on the struggle bus here today. But I'm intentionally trying to be better um, at keeping you up to date on what's going on in my Hobonichi cousin. I do use um, other planners as well. But I want to try to keep you up to date with how I plan in my Hobonichi. I'm going to try. <laughs> That's the goal this year. Oh my goodness. Is it? I just ripped that. I'm just used to bringing it up with my fingers. Okay. Um, these are new nails I put on the other day and I love them. They are actually, you know, I'm a, a rep for, um, oh, I am like drawing a blank today. It's just, anyway, <laughs> I've been using them for years and I have one right here. Red Aspen. And I saw these on, I think it was Facebook or maybe it was Instagram, but um, Dashing Diva. And I thought, I'm going to try them just for something a little different. And I like them. So I put the February down. I'm going to put the Happy Valentine's Day down. It's on a Monday this year. Hmm. Let's see. Do I want to put... I think I want to cut this box and um, use half of it on Valentine's Day. I'm just going to cut it with it right here on the... On the uh, sheet it's so much easier putting these uh, stickers down with tweezers yeah that's pretty and let's use this unbox weekend. Okay. Um, I have a my brother's birthday. And Let's mark some bills due. Oh, it's mortgage is due that day. Just gonna use another box and the mortgage sticker. And then we have a truck payment on the 17th. Oh, I should use something with a little more. No, that's okay. I need more color on this side. That just seems like there's a lot of black. So use that. And we have a vehicle payment right here. that 
there. Hmm. I need to put my 2022 sticker on. I'm trying to move a little bit faster because we're going to set up the February dashboard as well. And I don't want the video to be too long for you. Okay. I'm just going to put a, a few deco pieces down. The love and this little suck, chocolate sucker heart. That is so cute. And put that little bow there in the corner. I like that. <laughs> I just adore Valentine's Day. We never really do much. But I just, I've always liked it. I've always been a huge fan of it. I believe in love. That is for sure. And the power of love and yeah. I'll look at that as soon as I'm done, honey. Mm -hmm. I think it needs maybe one more little piece there. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna put a few hearts down really quick. Oh yeah, I want to mark her cell phone payment too. And then over here. I bent that sticker. <laughs> Hopefully that I'm on camera. I'm hoping I'm in frame. Okay, I just love it. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that writing right there. So I wonder... This is from uh, the box, the sub box like a month ago. And that's not going to work unless I go like this. That works. Does that look weird, guys? I'll put a deco piece there so it doesn't look so weird. And it's on a Monday, so I'm going to use this coffee for Coffee Monday. And this little outfit would look so cute with this box. Yes. I love it. And this this box needs a deco piece to go with the polka dots. I'm gonna use this coffee pot and this little planner. And then same with this box. Let's use um, a cupcake and the files. And I think this box too. <laughs> this milkshake is adorable. It's so cute. Let's see, what should we use with that? How about some waffles? Okay, and then the cell phone, I need to mark that down. I'm terrible about remembering to pay it on the day it's due and I always get a 
a friendly text reminder. <laughs> so I need to for sure mark it down. It's really pretty. What do you guys think? It's so pretty. It just, when my pages are pretty, it just makes me smile, makes me happy when I flip, when I'm flipping through my planner and trying to get a game plan and I see such beautifulness. I just, I love it. I love the feel of the Hobonichi paper. I love everything about it. Okay, so. Let's get in to the February overview. And I just kind of marked it here with this um, clip that was in the box. So I think I for sure wanna use this adorable sticky note. It's just, it's gorgeous. So I wanna put that in there in some shape. Um, So I'm gonna get these out. Some of these I'm gonna save for our card contest that's going on in uh, our Facebook group Planner Journey and it's linked below. Um, so we're gonna pick, I, I think it's um, three winners, $30 shop credit. Um, the deadline is the 13th of February, the day before Valentine's Day. And um, yeah, you just have to, the only requirement is the card has to be handmade. So that'd be great if you would hop on over and join in on that fun. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? I have no game plan. I should have had a game plan. I wanna put that there, but I'm gonna, Let's see if I have my white out handy. And of course I don't. So I'm just gonna put some washi behind this in case that space is open. Cause I'm not sure what my layout's gonna look like yet. And I don't have my white out handy. So these are just the washies that guy said that was in the box, or it's not a box, in the monthly subscription kit. And I'm gonna use this February box right here. And I think I'm gonna put February script across the top here. You know, I love the sticker paper and we are almost out and I went to reorder it and they're not making it anymore. I'm like, what? Everybody loves it. It's a semi-gloss. It's, it's only for foil. It only works on the laser printer, but they don't make it anymore. So I was pretty bummed about that. Okay. I like that. I need to trim this a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of do it at an angle. That looks cute. So let's see, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna use part of a doily Just like cut half of it. Then I have the other half for my card if I want to use it there. Uh, 
I'm gonna take it to the bottom. So I'm gonna cut across the bottom here. I think that looks great. So I do actually need to grab some adhesive. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed this uh, glue pen. It's uh, the planner glue pen. We actually had these in some of our boxes and I actually think it was a few years ago, but I still have plenty left over. So I'm just gonna, oh, I just ripped that. They're very delicate. <laughs> Put some on the back here. See if I can get this on straight. Straight enough for me, I like it. So this little piece here where it ripped, I'm just gonna put some on the paper. Ooh. Make sure it's sticking down good. It's really pretty. Black is just so sophisticated. Okay. I thought I was going to use some of our papers, but I don't think so. Um, should I put a heart there? No, 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 no. Oh, the struggle. I think I'm going to put one of the girls down here. And I know I want to use a sticky note. Does that look weird? I don't think it does. Um, <laughs> where's the rest of it? I'm gonna grab another stickier piece and actually put some washi. Um, that's just some adhesive that I'm rubbing off. It, it'll rub right off. These are really great sticky notes. They're very smooth. The color is really vibrant. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put, cause I want it to be more permanent. I don't know, would that look okay? Probably not. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. But I am gonna write some highlights in here you know what? I'm just gonna glue it down. Where'd my glue pen go? Oh, in here. This is still poking up a little bit. And I'm just gonna put a few so it stays down for me. Yeah. So I like that, nice and simple. Um, and I get to set up the first day of February using what I have left over in the kit. Um, I'm gonna use the gray date cover. Oh my goodness. And let's see if I have any scallops, I do. Use the light pink. And a today. I think I want to use the gray. Okay. 
Okay, and then I usually put a flag over here. Okay, and I always put a flag or washi over here because that, I don't know, the color just kind of <laughs> bothers me. Yeah, see how I have flags. I cover it up. Boxes or flags or. And I used my washi that's in the kit, so I'm going to use um, washi from the box. You guys, Katie's working on the um, the subscription box. So her main responsibility is the su subscription box um, and processing it every month. And it's a full-time job. <laughs> but, I mean, she also does designing and... Um, um, helping with other orders and such. So we keep her busy for sure. And I'm just going to continue this pattern over here. But I did it. I, I should have done it the same order. But I didn't. So that is fine. Okay, I'm going to start where the pattern repeat is. crooked okay so I'm gonna put a full box down I used one whole page of full boxes um, back in and there somewhere so let's see No. I won't, I mean, we're heavy in orders, so I won't have anything too exciting going on. So let's do a um, kind of a just decorative little box here. That's so pretty. And a three heart checklist here. And a box down here, right here, yeah. I didn't line that up good, so I'm gonna put a deco piece there. Oh my goodness. It's just, I just, tend to be a little picky about it. some things in my planner. I should have my tweezers. Right here. Okay. Let's use set of pins. Oh, they're all individual. That works. Um, I want to do an angle. I think it needs like an angle piece. So let's do... can we overlay that with besides another box? Let's see. Mm 
Hmm. Another box. Stick with what's comfortable. Oh, I don't know what. That looks kind of okay. And let's put a, a cupcake or a bow. A bow. Let's do the pink one. And this adorable. <laughs> That's a chocolate sucker. That's just so cute. Okay, so. Um, I think I want to use, I'm not, I don't think I'll use that for my card. These other ones I probably will. So I'm going to use the coffee cup down here, I think. And then I should be done. I'm going to have it fall off the page a little bit. And then I'll just trim it. My doily ran off a little bit too, so I'm just gonna trim that up. So I say yes, that makes me happy. I will love turning back and looking at my overview page. So that is my February overview and February monthly setup. Leave me a comment below if you like that, if you got any ideas for your planner, any inspiration. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I will be back this weekend with my setup for next week. Have a fabulous day. And we'll see you soon.